Welcome to Masters Week, everybody. I'm Coach Carolyn, Ledbetter Certified Instructor and former professional tour player, and I'm so excited to bring this edition to you of Short Game because we're basing this around the most exciting tournament of the year. I mean, I'm the biggest fan of the Masters. I'm so excited. I was able to go in 2018. I will never forget that year. It was absolutely magical, guys. Um, I'm not here to brag, but if anybody ever has a chance to go do it it is worth every penny it is an incredible event so i hope you guys have the chance to do this in your lifetime i'm so honored that i have been able to go and that i had the chance and i may have cried a little bit when i walked out there because it was so beautiful but that's besides the point um i'm even wearing my bracelet that i got there look at check it out it's so pretty ignore the apple watch got my little master's flowers ready to go so I'm in the spirit, guys. Clearly, I'm feeling it. And when you look at Augusta, I mean, everything about that course is hard. Let's be realistic. But what is obviously the biggest challenge is around the greens and is good short game because nobody will ever get near winning the Masters without really, really, really good short game. So that's why we're here. I'm going to show you my chipping system that you can observe the pros. You can watch the pros do this and make sure that you keep an eye on your favorite players this weekend to make sure to see what they do and how they chip because you will recognize some of this in their game. So make sure you keep an eye out. Let me know in the comments below who's your favorite player and what you saw in parallel to what I'm showing you today with your favorite player to this, this Masters and this weekend. All right, so what I'm here to show you is my bulletproof chipping system. It is a way to really simplify chipping and to have so many different shots out of really one club. And this makes it simple. It gives you creativity. It gives you more shots in the bag and it really allows you to be creative around the greens and hit shots that you may not have been able to hit before. So let's jump into it. Also, if this is the first time on my channel, please subscribe, like, leave me a comment below. I love having you here and I'm bringing new content to you guys on a weekly basis. So if you do subscribe, you get a little notification when new content is up and you can take that content straight into your game and become the best golfer you'll ever be. All right, so let's look at this chipping. So we're going to this first pin. It's a pretty standard chip and that's why I chose it because at least once around, you'll definitely face this, if not more times, because again, we miss the greens, pros miss the greens, but the real difference is how they get the ball into the hole from right here. Sometimes they just need one shot and that's really what the goal is. I mean, everybody wants to make it, right? But even getting it to a tap in or getting it to a comfortable zone around the hole is a win, guys. So here we're going to discuss three ball positions and we're going to discuss three hand positions. So make sure you watch this entire video. You can get all of these three positions and you can see what the combinations do to your chipping with just one club. Right now I'm choosing a 56 degree because it's very versatile. It's a club that will be fine around the greens from pretty much wherever. Um, and a 60 degree will be a little bit too high. So we're going with the 56. So first is the ball positions. There's three ball positions. You have back like this, you have middle, like this, you have forward like this. And the back really isn't any further back than the inside of your right heel and the forward isn't really any further forward than the inside of your lead heel right here. And then obviously you have three hand positions, very similar. You have the backhand position where your hands are actually a little bit behind the ball. Believe it or not, that is 100% a shot. So hang, you know, hang tight, stick with me here. Don't be like, Caroline, that's not a shot. We don't ever put our hands behind the ball. We do. Watch the pros. If there is a high, high, soft flop shot that they need to be hitting this weekend, they're going to not have their hands in front of the ball. I promise you that. Then second hand position is just above the ball, really in line. And the third hand position is obviously in front of the ball. This is kind of what we see on a more regular basis. This is kind of the bump and run, low risk shot. But all of these shots are as low risk as it gets, which is why I love the system so much because the key here is you choose one of those combinations of ball and hand position and then you keep that ratio of your positions the same. So we're not using our wrists, we're not hinging our wrists, we're not putting any more inconsistencies or additional movements in here. We are staying very, very stable and I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to go through the standard versions here. So ball back, hands forward. Ball is at my trail heel and my hands are a little bit forward. Weight is a little bit more on my front, but really pretty even. You can call it pretty even. And as you can see, that's a very standard chip that is almost about to go in. So 
this really is the standard, very simple, pretty simple and easy for everybody to do. Now we're moving into the middle ball position and middle hand position. And on this middle middle position, we're going to have to take a little bit of a bigger swing because we actually have a more lofted club. Because if you have your hands forward and you ball back, you have less loft. And as we're moving our hands back and our ball forward, we're going to get more loft, which means it's going to come off higher and it's going to have less run. So again, middle middle, little bit bigger swing. And you can see that came out a lot higher. So a lot higher, a lot softer, it rolled a lot less. So you can see where I'm going with this, right? And now, last version, this is the funnest one of all that everybody loves to watch and it's, you know, claimed to be super high risk. But if you do this, this flop shot, high soft shot really becomes as low risk as it possibly can be. So moving my ball position up to my lead heel and my hands back, scary, but hang in there, bear with me. Now, hands are back. When I say back, I mean behind the ball. So I like to have my ball position forward and my hands in the middle. So since my ball is forward, it puts my hands behind the ball. I really rarely put my hands in the back position unless I have a ridiculous flop shot. And I don't really think you guys are going to come across that very much. And it does take, you know, require a certain level of skill and feel. So I recommend you go front ball position and then middle hands. And again, we're keeping that triangle. We're not hinging here. We're not releasing here. We're not rolling. We're not doing any of that shebang. We're just have our hands and our core drive this and we're not changing this. And this is going to give the highest loft of these three shots. So it's going to come out even higher and roll even less. So we need a little bit of a bigger swing to cover the same distance, right? Because we want to get that ball up in the air. So ball forward, hands in the middle and just keep that why that we've created throughout the entire swing and so that's really the highest shot of them all and if you hit this out of the rough it's going to have the most spin it's going to have the most spin from wherever you hit it really but here this is a very tight lie so it's pretty tough to do this but again so this super simple system really gives you choices. It gives you options with the same club. If you have a club that you really like, you can hit three different shots with the same club with really the same body motion just by switching between those positions of three hand positions and three ball positions. And it gives you a system. You learn which one you love most. It gives you a really good standard feel. You feel like you're stepping up to a chip and you know what to do. It just gives you a system, right? And that boosts your confidence so much. When I tried this the first time, I finally had a chipping system. I mean, Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Now I'm stepping up to the ball and I'm actually feeling like I have an approach, I have a strategy. And that is so many of us are lacking that feeling and it's not because you don't know how to chip it's just that you don't really have a structure and some people are field players some people are technical players i'm a technical player so i really like having things to hold on to systems to go by because the higher the pressure the higher the stakes the higher your nervousness will be and the harder it is to rely on feel so even if you're a field player if you're really under pressure unless you're a very very good player it's going to be very hard for you to rely on your feel because your grip pressure gets harder you get more tense your mind gets busier so the better routines and systems you can have in place for yourself the more consistently you're going to score. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you leave me a comment below and you let me know which one of these positions you love the most. And I cannot wait to see you next time and hear about how much you love this chipping system.